Adam uh, came to New Zealand through the most treacherous of routes. He left Eritrea in 2003, spent several years after crossing through Sudan in a refugee camp, working as an interpreter until he came to New Zealand in 2008. And as if Ibrahim's life wasn't already tough enough, Ibrahim came here and then found himself in a minimum wage job trying to survive. And one of the minimum wage jobs he had was cleaning this university. Yes. Yes. But during his time here cleaning, he decided that he wanted to be not just a cleaner here, but a student here. And so through hard graft and night cleaning, he enrolled himself at Victoria University, and somewhat poetically, his first class was in a lecture theatre that he had cleaned the night before. Abraham graduated from Victoria University, went on to join Etu the Union to fight for the rights of other workers like himself. And now I am so And I consider the Labour Party to be deeply privileged and lucky to now have Ibrahim as a candidate for us. <laughs> Ibrahim's story is a lesson for us too though. Kia ora. Salam alaikum. My name is Ibrahim Omar and I'm proud to be standing for the Labour Party in the 2020 general election. I came to Aotearoa as a refugee in 2008. I had escaped my home country of Eritrea in East Africa. It's a country I love, but it was devastated by war and an oppressive violent regime. I was thrilled to have an opportunity to make my life here. But life here hasn't always been easy for me. I worked very long hours at the minimum wage cleaner to save money for university. My main job was at Victoria University of Wellington cleaning lecture theatres and the library. I dreamed of being a student there, and after years of saving, I began a politics and development studies degree in 2014. I still had to work full time at night though, and my first lecture was in a lecture theatre I had cleaned the night before. Through my experience as a low wage worker, I realized that a strong labor movement is essential to protecting the rights of vulnerable people. A strong labor movement is what's needed to create a just and fair society. I'm ready to take my voice to parliament and to use my experience as a community leader, living wage activist, and as a proud trade unions to represent refugees and low pay workers who can often be overlooked. On March 15, in 2019, my community experienced an act of terror. We continue to mourn the loss of 51 lives, lost because of racial and religious hatred. In the wake of this terror attack, I will use my voice in Parliament to support the rebuild of our community and stamp out racism in Atiro. I'm standing for Labour because it's the party that shares my values of community and fairness, and it's all about creating opportunities. We know that we are in good hands. Under the leadership of Prime Minister Jacinda Ardern, New Zealand has shown the world how to deal with the acts of hate is by focusing on love and unity. We have shown the world how to act in a global health crisis and have kept COVID-19 under control. We have started to right the wrongs, but we've got more to do. Join me by giving Labour your party vote, so we can do even more for those who need it most. Party vote Labour, let's keep moving.